Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part two in my new revisiting series. So this is a series that I am just started that I to try and use and highlight some of my older palettes that just don't get enough use or don't get enough attention, especially because YouTube, makeup YouTube tends to be all about the new releases all the time. Today I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Zendo palette, which is one of my favorite palettes, and I put this in my palettes I'm going to be using the spring video that I posted a couple weeks ago because this palette definitely feels like a spring summer palette and it's when I tend to use it the most. So I haven't really used it in a few months and today felt like a good day too. It's kind of sunny, it feels nice out, um, want to try this out. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite a special interest in more indie makeup and high-end makeup and I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to my makeup collection and my reviews, and I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay, so I am going to be using Zendo today. I've used this dozens of times, but I haven't used it since probably September, and it's now April, so it's been a while. Um, this is one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes, but it is pretty universally not liked. Um, my friend Stephen Lovingly calls this the Zen Don't palette. Um, people didn't like the color story that much, and then some people didn't like the formula. The shimmers in this tend to be a little more soft and subtle, which I do like. Um, depends on the day. And then it has a lot of cream to powders, which people don't always love, but I really do love. Um, and then I think the color story confused people. I saw a lot of people try to like mix you know, the red with the cream to powder green and then confused why it looked bad. But <laughs> if you use it properly, I think this is a really wonderful palette. I tend to do, um, I think it's really fun to use this palette for doing, um, like you can use the more neutral mattes and then like a blue shimmer if you do want to mix the tones, or you could use the more green mattes with, you know, one of these more bronzy tones. I think today I'm just going to do kind of an everyday wearable look that I do with this a lot, which is uh, using Balance, Zeal, and Yama. Um, maybe throw something else in there. I do really like Sense, but I'm just feeling more... I just really want to use Yama today. So I'm going to put some primer down and get started. I'm really happy the construction seems to be dying down outside so I can actually film again. They, it was really gross this morning because we had the windows open and then they started putting asphalt down, so it smelled awful. But I, I closed the windows and then it smelled bad for a while. But because they just put some asphalt down to like patch the road where they were doing work, I think they're going to be moving down the street for a while. So hopefully a little less noise so I can actually film. Also, if you are interested or curious, um, my lip today so far is just the Lisa Eldridge lip gloss. I have the shade Sorcery. Um, I just got this a week ago. And I've worn it a couple times and it felt kind of neutral and my lips also a little dry, so I thought this would be a good option for today. Also, I have talked about this on the channel before, but I'm not really buying new Natasha Denona right now. The brand for me is kind of on a pause after problematic behavior. Um, and I have talked about that in other videos. I can link some of that if you want. But yeah, not buying anything new from them right now, but I do have a lot of stuff that I love from them, so I'm gonna use it. And if there are any palettes you wanna see me do videos like this on, let me know in the comments and I, Natasha Denona or otherwise, just let me know what you would like to see and I can do these. And hopefully this will help inspire you to use some of your palettes more too, or give you some look ideas. So I just put some of my Urban Decay Primer down. A look that I have done a bunch, I mean, you can stick with just the warm tones right here, but I do think Mantra and Breath or like using these green tones with luster on them is a really pretty look if you haven't done that before. Green and gold looks really nice together. But I'm just picking up some some of Balance, um, and I'm using my Sonia G brush. I want to see how it works with the shade. And I'm just going to tap it on the outer part of my eye, and then blend it in to my crease. This is a palette that I've taken traveling with me a lot because I like that I can do a really simple neutral look. I can add in some green, I can add some blue if I want. It's really versatile. Um, and it is a little softer, so if I don't want, you know, a really bold look while I'm traveling because I just want to go quick and easy, it's really useful for that. 
And that blended out really nicely like normal. I do like Natasha Jenna's mattes a lot. And then I'm just gonna put that on my other eye as well. This uh, shade looks really neutral in the pan and I feel like it, usually I think of it as pretty neutral, but it's pulling pretty warm today. I don't know if that's just like me remembering it wrong. And that's also, you know, a reason why I'm doing this. Because if you haven't used something in a few months, you don't remember it perfectly. So I do want to use Zeal on the outer corner. And I want to put Yama, which is a green kind of peachy duochrome on my lid. So I think instead of putting more balance on my lid, because this is a pretty sheer uh, shimmer, I'm gonna put a little bit of Calm, which is this creamy powder shade, on my lid, just to ha make sure I have a little bit of color there too. Just put balance everywhere, but I feel like this will look interesting underneath Yama. And I'm just blending those two together in my crease. But Calm is a little too pale for me to blend all the way up here. <clears throat> so Zeal's kind of like a dark army green, and I like to use it on my lash line and kind of as kind of a shadow wing. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just picking up a little bit of Zeal on this rubber pencil brush. This is a 26 really like this because it's a pencil brush, but it's big and I have, I'm a big human. Um, so it's a good shape and size for doing stuff like this. I don't have the biggest eyes, but I, you know, I'm six foot two and a large human. So I, having a slightly bigger pencil brush makes these kind of things easier. And you could blend this into the outer corner. Um, I'm going to keep it kind of as just a little bit of a eyeliner moment. Actually, something I'll do regularly is put balance all over the lid and then just put this as kind of eyeliner and then that's it. Uh, so I'm hoping to film a couple things today just because there's not too much noise, it's sunny. I don't have anything going on on my schedule for the next couple hours. My best friend's birthday is today, um, so happy birthday to Natasha. But, um, and we're going out for dinner and stuff later, but I've got a couple hours. So I'm gonna pick up Yama. I often use Yama with my fingers, but I'm gonna try it with my Refer 21 brush. I don't think I, it's been a while, so I'm gonna try and see how this works. It is a more sheer, um, duochrome and shimmer, but I do really like this shade. I will often actually just grab it and put it over some bronzer. I won't even use balance or anything, but you can see it does have kind of a peachy base with a subtle like green gold sparkle running through it. And you can use glitter glue or wet to make it a little more shiny, but I like the subtleness of it. Um, it's one of those where like I'm out in the world and I see people see it and they're like, ooh, what is that on your eye? Because it's, it's a soft, you know, sparkly look, which is what a lot of people actually like in real life. Kind of a wet effect, but with that peach base and then the green sparkle. And that's why I put the peach, that calm shade underneath, just because it brings out the peach even more. And then if you want a more traditional Natasha to know a shimmer, you can use something like Sense or Luster. And yeah, if I use my finger, I get a little bit more intensity. I do think it looks better with a finger. Brings out the shift a little bit more. But it does work with a brush if you're someone who won't use or can't use their fingers. Okay, soft, very wearable, very everyday kind of look. I've taught with a similar look like this before. Um, and then I'm just going to take, then I'm just going to take a little smudgy brush and then pick up a little bit more balance and run it underneath my eyes. And if there are other looks you'd like to see this, like if you would like to see another video with Zendo where I do 
something more colorful, let me know. I don't have to do, you know, one palette per video. I can do multiple videos with one palette if you want some look inspiration. Okay, so I really like that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some mascara on real quick and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and threw on some of my Ismea mascara and a little bit more of the lip gloss and I really like this look. I mean, I've done this look before, but I still really like it or I've done something very similar before. And what I was saying about the shimmer, like if I grab that one, maybe one of the blues and then grab scents, you can see that Yama is much thinner in texture, but not, I feel like a lot of duochromes from like ColourPop and brands like that, they're also really thin, but they feel dry. This still feels creamy and has a little bit more shine and wetness to it. Um, and then you can see like a traditional Natasha Denona shimmer right here. This is the shade Sense. So there's a very big difference. That peachy base. Here's one of the blue ones, which is again, a softer shade. And then there's Sense. And as you can see, very big difference in textures, which I really like. I like Yama. I've, I think I will wear Yama again a lot this spring and summer. Especially when it's hot out, I don't want a lot of makeup or heavy makeup. So I'll often just wear something like Yama and some mascara. And then I think Sense makes a really nice kind of pinky bronze one and done. Like you put that all over the lid, blend the edges with a little bit of balance or something or bronzer and you're pretty much done. So this was actually a pretty quick one because I did a less complicated look than the last video when I used Club Nebula. Um, like I said, if you would like for future ones of these, if you want to see multiple looks or if you want me to do multiple videos with the same palette, let me know. Um, I do really love this palette. I do think because it's so polarizing and people don't love it, I think it's one of those that you should, I mean, you should never pay full price if you can't, don't have to, but this is definitely one that I would wait for like a 50% off sale or something because you wouldn't want to spend $60 on something and be disappointed in it. So I, the $30, 100% worth it. I mean, I I paid full price for this and I don't regret it, but I know a lot of people do. <laughs> um, so let me know if you want to see any more videos with this, any other palettes in particular you want to see videos on, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'm going to go wash off my hands and film at least one more thing. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.